chapter 9. Okay, there he is. Buster pointed his paw at a human-sized bundle that lay in the snow. We were crossing an alley that butted the alley that bounded the fire escape wall of the pearl, like the bend of an elbow. I found him just now. When it started to snow, I got scared for the kitten and thought I'd go looking. And... Not a trace. The guy isn't dead, by the way. He's asleep. We got to the body, a sleeping giant in one of those windbreakers padded with down. At his side was a carrier, open and yawning and partly toppled and buried in the snow. I circled the body and looked at his hands. One wore a mitten. The other was bare. I see why you called me. I whispered. No ID in his pockets. Buster looked up. Any darts in his collar? Darts? I explained. We examined the body, which didn't have darts, but a prominent goose egg on top of its head. A bad-looking lump with a crusting of blood. Buster said carefully, What do you think? I said, only the obvious. This is the guy. So what about Patter? He still hasn't moved, hasn't even come to again. This fella here, Buster pawed at the body. He might have been out here for easy an hour. I looked at the snow that had piled on his jacket and measured the depth of what covered the ground. It was several inches, or possibly more. So where does that leave us? I said, up the creek. Whatever the clues might have been, they were snowed on. There wasn't an odor, a footprint, a crumb. I was getting discouraged, on top of disgusted, on top of distracted, on top of confused. I examined the alley. The side on the left was an empty building a three-story house that was under construction, or reconstruction. Someone was building a patch on the roof, and some pieces of lumber were stacked on the edge. On the opposite side were a couple of buildings with darkened windows. End of the trail. So what are you thinking? Buster said grimly. Same thing you are. The kitten was nabbed. Or maybe the kitten just kind of escaped? I thought it over. Possibly yes, but considering everything, probably no. But anything's possible. Anything is. About those houses, I pointed up at the darkened windows. What do you know? Not a thing, Buster offered. The windows were dark when I got to the alley. I nodded. Okay. I looked down at the man again. Reddish hair and the build of a linebacker. Nothing in that. I went into his pockets again to make sure. Nothing was in them. Buster was right. The trail of the kitten was cold as the snow.